Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the 1st of August. As you can see, our combine down there in our tractor. We uh, took a test sample yesterday, but uh, we've we got we got to think about that later. We'll talk about it on our way over to Mr. Lane's, because he has stuff to do too. We're gonna take the Ford today um, to go where we need to go, because harvest is here. We're not quite ready yet. I took a test sample and ran it into town, and uh, yeah, it's just not dry enough yet. Just not dry enough. We're close. We're real close. Um, probably by this afternoon, this evening, we'll be ready. Now, Mr. Lane said he has taken a sample, and um, he said we're ready to go on his property for the two fields that he has ready to be harvested, that is. So we're going to go over there, and um, first, we've got to take care of a chore he was doing. I guess early this morning, he got everything kind of ready for us to go, and um, I don't know, I guess he didn't wasn't feeling good, or, you know, something wasn't quite right. So, um... We're going to head up there and uh, finish his chore that he didn't get done. That usually is our chore, but he wants us more focused on um, farming today. He really needs us focused on farming. Now, we've only got our one field ready. Our other fields are uh, they're, they're not ready yet, along with Mr. Lane's other fields. Let's uh, let's cut in this way today, shall we? Because what we need to do is finish feeding the cattle. He said he got the straw taken in and everything done, and then he just, yeah, I guess he just couldn't do any more. That's probably good enough. Let's see. He's got the tractor all hooked up. And it looks like he's got a full thing, so let's get on the tractor. And let's get these cattle fed real quick. Uh, I did get the case combine sold. And uh, I've got the planter sold and the... Um, the uh, cultivator they are all sold so we should should be looking pretty good I would think for now anyway we'll see yeah we, he was right it didn't take much oh oh we got the forks back on can't make this corner with them on and not have them up in the air well, anyway, we'll get this parked back in its little hidey hole and to get the tractor put away. I don't know what was the matter. He just said he got a little lightheaded and was feeling kind of wonky. So, he, he basically told me I'm on my own today when it comes to doing all the work on the farm. And, um... Well, that's what I get paid to do. I'm just surprised that he was... I mean, I know why he was... I know why he was doing the chores. You know, he was doing that so we had a whole day to harvest. And we could maybe get done. We'll see. There we go. That's good enough. Get that closed. Yep. Okay. Let's get over here. Let's get over here. Well, I suppose we can go straight to the field. Uh, no use to uh, park our vehicle over here and then walk. Because I, I think everything's already over there. I think. We'll go look real quick. Now, according to him, we should be ready to just take off and go. Um... 
I guess his test sample showed that this is very ripe and uh, ready to be harvested. Okay, let's back up over here out of the way. Just kind of back here in the brambles. That's probably... Oh, there we go. I don't want to be too close because we'll have to move from that field to... Or this field to that field. Okay, let's see. What did he get here? Whoop. Missed my ladder. Ah, let's use the combine to look. Oh, a little bit. Let's fire this thing up. Yeah, it don't look too bad. Uh, let's see. This is new and different. It's going to be interesting going between two different uh, harvesters. Because I'm used to my harvester. And he's got this behemoth. So we'll see. Let's see what it says when we engage here. Like I said, we should be just ready to start harvesting. No problem. Uh, Mr. Lane has already been through. And like I said, he did a test cut. And he said, yep, we're ready to go. So that's exactly what we're going to do is we're just going to go now we are running swastroth we um, we definitely want it running because we want to try to get as much of this as we can and I don't know how good of a yield it's going to be we're, we're going to just have to find that out as we go along I don't know how good or bad his land is. Uh, I think we've harvested this field once before, maybe. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. We shall see. Well, I'm going to get at it, and I'll see you here in just a few.
All right, everybody, we've got this field done. So, good deal, it's over, but we can't just go straight over um, and start cutting. We are going to move the combine over there, but we uh, all we got to do is just adjust two settings and uh, we can start cutting over there. But we've got to fix everything up first when it comes to um, when it comes to uh, getting all the grain we have collected out. Now I'm hoping that'll be a lot easier than it sounds. I think I can get in and around here if I just do this. Yes. I should be able to get everything around. We'll get those settings adjusted. And we'll run back down here and, uh, yeah, try to get all of this run in and done. Boy, there's a good amount of straw on there I was not expecting. Oh, that's Mr. Lane, I bet, messaging me. I'll have to look at it here in just a moment. Oh, another message from him. Okay. Let's fire this up, and while doing that, I'll look at my messages. Okay. Well, we're just going to run this right on over, and, um, yeah, he wants me to keep on a cutting, and then when it gets to be 2 o'clock, he said, go work on my fields. So when we get close to 2 o'clock, um, he wants me to go ahead and cut out on his and go work on mine. Uh, very thankful to him for that. I mean, he's he's thinking of the fact that i am got a farm too, and, and, and I appreciate it. I, I really do. I appreciate it. Let's see if we can get this unloaded here. I don't know if he thought about this when he built this place or not. There we go. Get that front hopper dumped in. middle hopper and back hopper that back hopper looks like it's got wow look at it go away okay back up here a little bit so we can make the corner and we can get going boy mr. Lane sure is active he's uh He's really sending the messages today. That's okay. We'll get to it once we get over here to the field. Okay. Now, I gotta run this super wide. You're just gonna have to stop, buddy. So I need to run this right down the edge. Boy, that's close. Oh, no. That's the fence. Good thing I didn't go any further. Uh, we're just going to have to run out into the crop a little bit. It's okay. It won't. Uh, it'll hurt it a little bit, but not very much. There we go. That should do it. Oh, I hate having to do that. Okay, now we got to go get the other one. And I'm not sure where we're going to need it. Oh, that's a lot of water. Guess we'll have to go around it. Because we're going to cut across here. Boy, this is good looking wheat. Man, this is good looking wheat. We're just going to cut across. We're not going to hurt this wheat by walking through it. 
Ain't no water down here, is there? Oh, it was a little goopy. It's okay. It'll all be off of my shoes before I get to the tractor. But we'll have to stage this tractor up somewhere over here. Basically same as what we just got done doing. Because I have a feeling there's no way we're going to make it all the way around. Okay, fire this up. And I think we'll just cut across the field here. That'll be a little bit easier, I believe. At least I hope so. I hope so, anyway. Okay. Yeah, we can get out here before they get up here. This is a lot easier to manage. But it doesn't hold as much crop. So it takes longer. That old semi, it holds 50 some, 50 to almost 60 some thousand. And this thing only holds about 35 or so. There we go. Now the worst part is we're going to have to climb all the way to the top and switch bins after I get this done because this will be the last of the barley going in. And uh, yeah, that's, that's going to suck a little bit. But it ain't terrible. Oh, I never did check his messages. I'll do that when I get back to the tractor. Okay, let's get up here and switch this. Okay. Oh, we got to... Let's see, where's the... Oh, I may have went too high. Well, where's the leg turn? Oh, over here. Okay. Okay, we got that switched over. So, when we come back, all we got to do is just dump it straight out. So, that ain't too bad. Okay, let's get in the tractor and... Um, Get back over here. Hmm, let's see. I think we're just going to pull in here for the moment. And then we will just come back up here and get this tractor. Um... Just got to get it off the road. There, that ought to do it. That ought to do it. Yeah, it's off the road. We can get to harvesting, so uh, that's what we're going to do. Okay, there we go. Fire her up. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and get to going on this, and we'll see you when it's done.
All right, everybody. Well, we've been working and working and working trying to get this cut. This is a bigger field than it looks. Now, um, we're getting close to that 2 o'clock time frame. And, uh, yeah, it's just looming over our heads. Got a little cloud cover compared to this morning, but, but not bad. And uh, we're close to being done, but it's still going to be a little while before we get this field done. We're going to call it for the moment. The semi is full. Um, the wheat back in the back part of this field was amazing. I mean, that wheat back there was absolutely astounding. But the wheat that we're working on up here in this area, it's, it's terrible. It's not so good. Uh, I did talk to Mr. Lane. He is not doing good at all. Uh, I guess they're going to take him into the hospital. So, um, we shall see what happens here. I, you know, I don't know. I just hope he's okay. But we're going to finish this up here tomorrow I'm sure it won't take us very long at all oh boy are we gonna have enough room just barely okay well let's put the header down fold up and we'll shut her down I'm gonna go ahead and empty out the semi and then I'm gonna put the semi away I I don't think we're going to need the semi anymore today. I don't think so. Or, well, tomorrow, I should say. I don't think we will, and it's probably best we just put it away. Or at least get it back to the yard and get it put up. This is just such tight quarters here. Nothing we can't handle, of course. Oh, 63,000 liters. That's what it is. That's a lot, let me tell you. Okay. See if we can get centered over this again. All three hoppers. There we go. We'll start with the back this time. Boy, look at her dump in there. Good looking grain. Man, that's good looking grain. Okay. We'll roll the electric tarp back over. And uh, I, it's not supposed to rain, so we're not going to put it in the shed. In case we need it tomorrow, we're just going to park it over here along the edge. I think that ought to be good enough. We'll just park it right along here. Yeah, I think that'll be just fine. Okay, let's get back over there. I think we'll dump the grain cart too and put it back in the field. Because like I said, it ain't supposed to rain. At least I don't think it is. Lord, I hope it's not going to rain. Yeah, it's almost full, too. We might as well go dump it. Uh, the John Deere track tractor here. The uh, I don't remember the number. Isn't that terrible? Well, anyway, it doesn't seem to have any issues whatsoever pulling this pulling this Kill Brothers cart. Man, it just goes right at it and gets it done. Very, very impressed with its performance. Okay, this shouldn't take very long. Should be a pretty quick run out here. There we go, we can see it now. 
Kind of nice being able to dump them both without having to be too far away. I imagine, I imagine Mr. Lane bought this maybe when he had some other fields that were longer away. Um, whilst somebody was driving the semi back and forth, somebody could be out in the uh, grain cart. I don't know. I, I didn't meet him then, but I'm, I'm just guessing. I know that's how some of my family did it at one time and it worked out pretty good for us oh now everybody's got to go back the other direction I see come on guys let's go I don't have all day well I do but I don't okay we're pushing right up on that two o'clock time I think I got it timed out pretty darn good here Okay, let's see. Want to make sure. Whoop. Turned her a little too far there. Beautiful. That looks good right there. Shut her down. Okay. Um, I don't think it's going to rain, but let's go ahead and uh, fold this thing up real quick, just in case. At least keep the, uh, the bin area dry and secured there all right let's go get in our pickup and we're gonna head to the house looks like I'm gonna have to charge my phone up a little bit uh, and this camera here but um, we'll get back to the house and start our next half of harvest after I get it charges so for now thanks for watching everybody we'll see you in the next one